Well, hello everyone. And today we are at Stockholm Central, located on various main lines at the beating heart of Sweden's capital city, Stockholm. Starting out in the intro, you would have seen a MTRX service that was on a service bound for Gothenburg. We need to decide whether we're doing anglicised or the correct Swedish pronunciations. I think we'll go with Swedish pronunciation just for consistency. Yeah, then MTRX service bound for Jöteborg, and just then we had and one of the SJ intercity services on the 1751 departure bound for Kalmar. So Stockholm Central, very colourful station, lots of very colourful operators here. We're expecting a lot of interesting services this evening, so do keep your eyes peeled. So with that, let's get started. Okay, as the out now, it's going to be the 1655 Mailer Talk service bound for Ahabo. Just closing its final set of doors. The Mailer Talk services are like commuter services around um, the Stockholm regional area, with these lovely double-decker Stadler Kiss units. It's this thing that trains do in Sweden for some reason, they crawl very 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 slowly out of stations and then start to accelerate. This one will have come from Uppsala. Wow, that's a lot of capacity on that train, wow. A double deck eight car train carrying the same capacity as a 16 car single deck train, can you imagine that? You'll never have to stand on a train like that. Ah, so we look around, we find another mailer talk service. This one is bound for House By. Our spotting is said mailer talk service bound for House By. The good thing about these destination displays is they display the same destinations um, throughout the whole trip, so on destinations you can tell where the trains have come from. This one has started here at Stockholm Central. I do apologise for the background noise. We are right next to a highway here. And it is rush hour. So yes, we are looking towards the southern end of the station here. Um, this is the direction facing towards Malmö, Göteborg, and all sort of southern areas, Lenshipping, south of Stockholm. And that way is looking north to the Great Arctic North. We'll catch one train uh, later today going right up beyond the Arctic Circle. Okay, I also arrived in on this platform, I didn't notice behind me, it's going to be, or it's going to be parting now, it's going to be the 1721 SJ Snob Talk, these are the fastest trains in Sweden, bound for Malmö. As a service bound for Jeffler, also arrives in. This is one of the X2 or X2000 series trains. This is one of their refurbished stock, you can tell by the black doors and the green markings on the doors. These are very well built and high quality trains. And here is an unrefurbished one. This is going to be on the 1728, also SU Snap Talk service bound for Gothenburg, Jutebos and Fosterholm. As we're out, we have another Mailer Talk service. 
Why do the announcements only start when I stop filming? This one is terminating in about 15 minutes late from no shipping. As I'm looking very closely behind me, as the 1728 SJ Snap Talk service to Yotabus and Foster Home, the services will come in just a minute ago, is ready to depart. As we're having in, we have another SJ Snap Talk service in the opposite direction. This one is terminating in from Yutaboy, so it's forming the opposite service to the one we're just about to see. Driving van trailer is always uh, at the Stockholm end. And the power car is always at the Yutabori or the Malmo end. Going in on the far platform there. This one is now late. That's parting out is going to be the 1731. Mail a talk service bound for Eskens Tuna. Well, as I can hear the roar of the SJX2000 behind me as it prepares to depart on its service bound for Yutaboy. Very nice trains. So powerful as well. Trainy but train face. I said we weren't going to see another MTRX service, but this one's just come in from the sidings at the north of the station. One of our Stadler Kiss, not Stadler Kiss, Stadler Flirt units. Very mechanically similar to the class 745s and 755s we have in the UK. Bound for Yutaboy. So the terminating mailer talk service, where's this one come from? Let's see if you can guess. Eskiz Tuna, and it's terminating. Should we have a look at some of those trains coming to the northern side of the station now? I feel it might be appropriate. This place has still got their Christmas decorations up. It's July. Ah, here it comes. I was arriving now, just as I made it to the northern end of the platform, is going to be the 1734 SJ Euronight service. This is one of SJ's. Uh, in fact, it might be SJ's only sleeper service which runs starting from here uh, at Stockholm Central at 17.34, it's now slightly delayed uh, and runs all the way to Berlin all the way to Berlin uh, the locomotive will change once once it arrives into Denmark and then again as it arrives into Germany some of the major stops that it stops at along the way include uh, Copenhagen 
Hamburg and arrives into Berlin tomorrow morning, very early tomorrow morning. SJ is not the only operator which runs a Stockholm to Berlin overnight service. There is also a service run by Snelltorget, which is a private operator. Um, they're comparable in quality, um, but the Snelltorget service leaves quite a bit later, about 9 o'clock in the evening, maybe even 10 o'clock, and arrives into Berlin just before lunchtime. Here's our MTRX service. This is, not, this is not the last sleeper dream we're going to be seeing today either. Okay, as we're looking north now. Arriving in slash departing at roughly similar times, first of all we have this SJ3000 uh, series service which is terminating in from Sundsvall. In the far north of Sweden. Not a very busy train at all, this one. Come in from Sunswell. These are also classified as SJ snub talk services and can reach speeds of up to 200 km an hour. I'll explain more on that later. The parting hour also is going to be the 1743 SJ Express slash regional service found for Morha, which is also in the far north of Sweden. I, although it does look like it's a night train, uh, it is not actually a night train, although it does, although it does run quite late into the night. Pulled by one of the lovely SJ locomotives. As that one heads north, bound for Moha. Just very close to the far Norwegian border. We have a service, also a mail talk service, coming in from Uppsala to Örebro. Mail talk. So yes, these are the SJ3000 series which are rolled out on many of these services heading north and west from here in Stockholm. Um, but maybe don't qualify um, enough demands to have the SJX2000 series sets, but are still important routes. So this one has just come in from Sundsvall. Have an SJX2000 departing north of the station. We don't usually get services running in passenger service north of Copenhagen. Uh, of, I keep saying Copenhagen because I was in Copenhagen last week. Um, but you don't usually get services running north of Stockholm operated by this rolling stock. So this, I assume, is going uh, into the depot just north of the station. Its destination is set to Jöteborg. Presumably in preparation for a later service. Great views here, actually. And we've come here for a couple of reasons. First reason is that departing out in just a number of minutes is going to be this service, the 1757 service bound for Narvik. That's in Norway, in the very far north, beyond the Arctic Circle. You can see the V locomotive at the front. V is a private operator from Norway. Some people call this train the Polar Express because it really does go v as close as you can get to the North Pole. I'll show you where Narvik is on a map. So Stockholm is here. Narvik is here. Isn't that amazing? Almost as far north as you can get in Norway. The other reason we came here is because 
um, also running from Stockholm are the express services to Arlanda Airport known as um, the Arlanda Express services which are incredibly frequent and incredibly fast um, services which run between Stockholm and Stockholm's main airport Arlanda. I didn't realise they were quite short, they do look quite, like quite smart trains though, don't they? On the Arlanda Express departing, it's like the Heathrow Express of Stockholm. And similarly in price as well, because this is an incredibly expensive train. It's not quite as expensive as the Heathrow Express, but it's still very expensive. But it is probably the only way to get to Arlanda Airport's terminals by rail. Speaking of which, in comes another one. Well, it's if it's quite hard to see in the distance. We stop on platforms one and two here. So I believe we have another mailer talk service coming in. That's just re emerged from the tunnel. Oh no, my mistake. This isn't a mailer talk. It's one of the SGA regional services. Which are also double deck. This one has its destination set to Linköping. That'll be, that'll be this train. That it's announcing at the moment. This one is quite heavily delayed actually. This one is from Lee Style. And that is just coming into the station to form a service to Lynn Shipping. Uh, it's so tempting. I could just get on this train to be honest because I do have an interrupt ticket, but I've also got a hotel book for this evening, so. <laughs> I'm sure this would be a very lovely hotel that would see me wake up in the Arctic tomorrow morning. But I'll leave it up to your imagination. Let's just go to the front and capture some shots of the locomotive. There's a couple who have had their berth um, double booked, so they're just trying to get that sorted in the train to be on its way. And this hotel. I was very nearly about to book this hotel, thinking that it had, this is the Clarion Hotel Sigmund. I was about to book this hotel thinking it had very good views of the train line, but I'm very glad I didn't, because at the moment this just seems to be a gigantic brick wall. So none of the rooms have windows in this hotel. Come on to this platform, we do have a clear view of the Arlanda Express services coming in as well. Twenty minutes to get to the airport. Very quick. Okay, as the bottom out now is the Polar Express with its Incredible locomotive. We are currently walking faster than the Polar Express. Maybe the sleeper train that I want to try the most. I didn't realise but this train actually splits into two. Most of the train goes to Narvik but some of the train goes to Lulil. So the rear three coaches of this train will be going to Lulil. You can see all the coaches marked Servwagen are sleeping carriages. And these are either first or second class uh, sleeping carriages.
And here's the Lulia portion. Lovely train. Amazing train that is. Stopping at a lot of stations in the very far north of Sweden, including Umeå, Onskolsvik, uh, where does it stop next? Yerevare, Kiruna, Arbusko, and it crosses the border into Norway at Riksgransen, uh, from where it will continue to Narvik. And this train arrives into Narvik at 12 o'clock tomorrow, although it does have about a 30 minute delay, so it will probably end up maybe something like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a ridiculously long journey for that one. I'm just trying to work out how many hours that is. That's 18 hours. A very long sleeper train. Anyway, before I get copyright striked by the music that's playing by the bar up there, I'd just like to say thank you all very much for watching this video. I really do hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have fil enjoyed filming here. <laughs> if you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content for some reason. <laughs> if you're in interested in seeing more content from Scandinavia, then I've got a whole playlist of, on my channel dedicated to videos all around from Denmark, Sweden, you name it. So have a very good evening everyone as the sun begins to set here in Stockholm. See you next time. Bye everyone.